In this video, I'm going to discuss a program that I use every day, both at home and work, and that is Grammarly. I'm also going to give you my opinion of the product from a user perspective. For the record, this video is not sponsored by Grammarly. All opinions stated in this video are my own. Lastly, I'll cover how to install and use Grammarly with Microsoft Outlook, Word, and web browsers. Hey everyone, it's Joe from FC Tech, a great place to find tech news, reviews, and tutorials. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button, and all the links we reference in this video can be found in the video's description. And with that said, let's jump into it. So what is Grammarly? Grammarly is an advanced AI-based spelling and grammar checker. Grammarly is available for Windows and Mac, as well as iOS and Android via the Grammarly keyboard app. Grammarly provides browser extensions for modern versions of Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and both old and new versions of Microsoft Edge. With the browser extension, you can leverage Grammarly with Gmail, Outlook.com, Facebook Messenger, Yahoo, and many more sites. The same functionality is also built into document and project management sites such as Slack, Asana, Jira, Salesforce, and more. You can also use the spell check and grammar features on social media platforms like Medium, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Grammarly has a great Microsoft Office plugin that works with Microsoft Word and Microsoft Outlook. This is available for both PC and Mac. Grammarly is available in three different flavors depending on your needs. The free version of Grammarly includes basic spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Tone detection is available on limited sites and platforms. The conciseness of sentences is also available on limited sites and platforms. Outside of that, it's, it's kind of limited, so if this doesn't sound like it would meet your needs, you probably need to go with a premium product. As for the premium product for Grammarly, it includes everything that is in, included with Plus, but it also includes sentence rewrite recommendations, tone correction, plagiarism detection, which is really great for both students and teachers, uh, especially if you want to make sure that you're not accidentally plagiarizing something that's been written somewhere else. This is especially useful for college classes as a lot of professors run uh, submitted papers through plagiar pra plagiarism detectors. So it at least gives you a fighting chance before you submit something to your teachers or professors. Premium also includes uh, word, word choice features, so it helps you to vary your, your word usage throughout your sentences, sentences and, and paragraphs and whatnot, uh, just to, to add, you know, mix things up a bit. It also, it also includes formal, formality level adjustments. Uh, this, the formality level adjustments essentially make sure that the tone of your text is accurate. Uh, to the message you're trying to portray to, to make sure you're, you're you're coming off as professional or serious or whatever whatever it is you're trying to get across through through writing and lastly fluency to make sure that everything is fairly fluid um, throughout your text now I've been a user of Grammarly for probably five years at this point I've, I've used both the desktop version for Office as well as the browser-based versions. And I can tell you that they totally changed the way that I, that I communicate. Uh, they, ha they help me to nail down my tone when I'm trying to send an email to someone to make sure that I'm getting my message across properly and so that things aren't misinterpreted, uh, as, as well as making sure that I, that I you know properly punctuate sentences. If you accidentally miss a comma, it will remind you. Also, it, it will it will let you know if it thinks that you need to be using a semicolon, for instance, or splitting up your sentences properly. A uh, lo lot of really great features. Another really nice thing that I like about the tool is the fact that they send you weekly reports and they tell you how many words a week you, you type normally, as well as uh, some sort of analysis as, as to how you stack up to other Grammarly users especially if you're a competitive person, <laughs> this could be could be useful uh, just to see how you, 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 know, you stack up to everyone else out there. 
All right, to install Grammarly on a web browser, you simply need to navigate to the site I have listed here. I will navigate there now, hit enter. From here, I can click on add to Chrome, it's free. If you're using Firefox or something else, it'll actually list the browser type here. In this case, I'll click on add to Chrome. Then I'll click add extension. Now you can see Grammarly for Chrome has been added. And from here, it'll ask me to sign in. I'll go ahead and log in with my account. All right, now that I'm logged in, you can see here that I'm at the uh, Grammarly page. This shows that I'm successfully authenticated and that everything should be working at this point. Now, as I said before, Grammarly will work on uh, various sites, including Facebook and other social media platforms. I'm going to go ahead and simulate a post and show you what it looks like when it tries to correct your errors. You can see it's already already scanning the document to see if there are any issues. I'll start typing here. You can see it's trying to figure out how many errors there are in in the, in the file. As, as you can see here, it's found two issues so far. I, that that, it's, that it finds is critical. I can click on this, and you can see already that it found it found. You can see already that it found the first error, which was I, I misspelled V. So click on that, and you can see that it, it actually noticed that there this should have been two words instead of one. So I'll click on that to correct it, and that's pretty much it. And from here I can post and go on my merry way. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to install Grammarly for Office. To do this, you can navigate to the following link. I'll ha also have this listed in the description below and on the screen. I'll hit enter. You can see here it brings me straight to the Grammarly site, um, asking me to install the Grammarly add-on for Microsoft Word and Outlook. So I'll click on get it for Windows, it's free. You can see here it is downloading it, so I'll launch that. Click get started. And I do want to use this with both Word and Outlook. If I wanted to, to, only, to exclude, exclude one of these options, I could simply uncheck one. For now, I'll just click install. then finish and now I'm going to open up Word and I'll show you what it looks like all right here we are in Microsoft Word and I'm going to start typing a similar sentence to what I did before And in order to sp spell and grammatically check the sentence, I'm going to click on Open Grammarly in the upper right hand corner here. From here, I can click on Login. Okay, and you can immediately see that I was presented with the same two errors that I saw in the web browser. First one was the spelling error. I'll click on that. To correct it, I'll click on the word over on the right. It even gives you, as you can see, it even gives you reasoning as to why you need to make the change. Sometimes it's useful, especially if it's trying to correct your tone or something like that. So uh, I'll click on the second one. Awesome, it's good to go. 
You can also see at the top that, that, it, that it specifically breaks down into correctness, clarity, engagement, delivery, and whatnot, including plagiarism. If you want to turn that on and off, it's all located right here on its own ribbon. So very useful. I guess for now, I will also open up Outlook just, just to show you that it's, it's a very similar experience. Okay. You can see I can actually reply to a document directly with Grammarly, or I can open up a new email here and I can click on open or close Grammarly here and it will grammatically check as I'm going through typing out my document or typing out my email in this case. And that's it. Well, hopefully you now have a better understanding of what Grammarly is and how to use it. In my opinion, Grammarly is just a great tool to help you become a more effective writer. As I mentioned before, affiliate links to download Grammarly are in the description below. I've included links for the desktop version for Windows and Mac, as well as the, the browser-based version and the uh, mobile version. You are under no obligation to buy anything using my link, but if you do, it does help to support the channel. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Question, what is your favorite feature with Grammarly? Let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.